1980 Chevy Malibu IMCA stock car doing a full walk around. I finally got her clean. Look, I got the bead locks and nice new wheels on it. So we'll do a story tell and a walk around of this thing. But um, this car is from Calgary, Alberta. And I traded the first, my first truck I rebuilt. I had flames on it and all this shit. And I traded it straight across for this because I wanted to go racing. And I didn't and it just sat. So... Anyway, now I'm back on. It's been sitting about 10 years that I've, 10, 12 years that I had it. And then I don't know how long before that exactly. It was run probably mid 2000s last time. But the last time he ran it, this was a brand new fuel cell. So he put a bunch of new parts in it. And uh, it's pretty choice. Let's see if it's got the brand new. Um, we'll look underneath it here. But like... It, it, it's a it's an eyesore i suppose but i'm fucking absolutely in love with it. it's got load jacks on the springs they're disconnected but it's got all the provisions for it and uh thinned aluminum brake drums new afco shocks new springs it was a pavement and dirt car we ran both so this car came with both setups as far as rear end and it came with a whole bunch of offsets and a whole bunch of extra parts and i have less than half of them i'd say but um they like included new bead locks and these are kind of the offset that i would like to try out the fronts a little bit in more than the back and then everything's out that way try to get it to dig i'll see what happens that's what i would try out anyway plus it's the new fancy wheels so looks good and in here, like, I mean, it's just basic, but he's done a lot of cool shit. I don't know if you can see, uh, maybe not. On the other side of the seat, right where you can reach it, he's got a proportioning valve, some manual proportioning valve, so you can tune your brakes as you're running, if you need to. And, uh, like, it's... The welds are kind of decent, and, like, you can run it. It's an IM, It's a registered cage, and then the stringers have been... Right? The only thing is, the guy was a little short really really cool dude really cool kid a little 14 year old son of his is mad into cars but i would definitely like the seat like here but i mean i i fucking i really want to run this car I really really want to run it realistically probably have to sell it really don't want to really 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 don't want to but fuck you know I had like extra sheet metal, extra original sheet metal. I had like uh, two sets of quarter panels. I had everything but doors. And I had an Iraqi taxi four door car that was just absolutely clean, a six cylinder that I was gonna, you know, car number two plus sheet metal. Plus I had, I had extra grills too, hoods. We'll open this up. It, it's a goddamn shame. I stopped asking why because it involves people that I can't, well, you call them family, you can't really, whatever, I don't want to get into it. So we got, uh, these were new uppers and then, uh, put, uh, brand new Bilsteins on it and again, new springs, I got an extra set of new springs. I had a bunch of, a couple pairs of upper control arms too but who knows what the hell um but yeah it's a it's a clean little car like it's not it's really nice i like this goddamn thing it's a nice it's light it's just you know it's a nice little setup in this car without much tuning well i mean you can run thunder i'm in canada so thunderstocks are popular especially out east and then if you want to try, if you fucking want to go IMCA racing, she was registered. So it wouldn't take much. But yeah, that's it, man. I think that's it. It's a race car. It's fucking awesome. And it's got that nice little bit of patina. Um, so hot rod guys too, diesel wax. If you have an old car that's kind of like whatever, it's got that look, it's got that old paint, but you don't want it to go to shit. Uh, race cars, older paint jobs, anything with like acrylic enamel, Rust-Oleum style, oil-based paint. Just fucking pressure washer good and then just hit her with a wax coat of diesel. Works really, really well.
But yeah, I fucking love this car. I don't want to get rid of it. Like, subscribe. Contact me if you want a good car. Sadly. <laughs>